So we worked with 50 Cent. This is when we started into, yeah, this is when we started getting into the hip hop because we did a song for 50 Cent called So Serious. The Gutter Fam, that's us. We did another song for 50 Cent called Family Matters. In that same pocket of time, I did a song for, you know, under the Gutter Fam uh, for um, uh, Music Soul Child called Where Are You Going? on his Soul Star album. And interestingly enough, that album starts out with Carol Riddick. Carol Riddick is singing at the beginning. Yeah, that Carol Riddick is singing in the beginning of that album. She was on Motown when we were on Motown. She was our label okay. mate okay. back then. But um, uh, DMX. Oh, yeah, uh, goodbye. Goodbye, yes, yes, DMX. Um, Ghostface Killer, you did something with him? Yes. And okay. So we, So I had a song called Best Kept Secret. Okay? That came out just a little bit later. And um, Best Kept Secret is a spinoff of something earlier that was done. Uh, shout out to Bezo and PLX because that song was uh, uh, Never Be the Same Again. That's straight up Bezo. You know, that that's his whole vibe. You know what I'm saying? And we did that. And so we took that. That was a hit for Ghostface and uh, okay. Carl Thomas. And Carl Thomas, yeah. Yep. And we took that and wanted to do a song for me. So what I started doing in that same pocket of time was um, stumbled upon the name T.L. Cross. And I, I went from being Tone, Little Tone, to T.L. Cross. And it it was like I'm still in the group slash band because when we were, when we were with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, our name was Morrison Slick. Morrison Slick was the name. And we had a couple of releases. There's a guy out there by the name of uh, Dan Dodds, um, Soul Jones, out there in, in uh, uh, the UK. And mm -hmm. we did we release something under that name, Morrison mm -hmm. Slick, a song called uh, Look At Me Now, you know, in conjunction with Jimmy and Terry and them, Bobby and Izzy. And uh, we did another, we did a song with Faith Evans called happy ending now i don't think that ever came out i don't think that ever came out but that was going to be our single with jimmy and terry because we were signed with uh through flight time to arista okay. uh that's uh uh la reed yeah la yeah. reed during the same time morrison slick did have a release on interestingly enough steve harvey had an album called a sign of things to come and Dave Hollister was on it. A few people were on it. Morrison okay. Slick, that album too. Again, Morrison Slick technically is La Day minus one member, but with us now playing and singing and kind of doing that thing. So uh, uh, that had a couple of releases. But ultimately, TL Cross, I said, you know what? I'm still in this thing, but let's just do it like this. Maybe I'll get out, do some lead stuff. And it wasn't my idea. It was Brian's idea from the group. Listen, bro, every time we go somewhere and we play them a song, they say, who's that singing? And we say, that's T.L. Cross. And they say, well, can we sign him? Is he a solo artist? And we always say, nah, he's in a group. Oh, we're not looking for a group. We're looking for a solo artist. So B said, every time we say that, it's like closing the door. Next time they ask us, who's that guy? Is he available? Let's just say yes. And then you'll be up front. We'll back you up. We'll be on backgrounds and be on the stage with you, like as background vocalists. We'll just do it that way. And it was like, ah, all right. So I went out and tried my hand at being a solo artist. That's how T.L. Cross was born as a solo artist. And then I started working with everybody as T.L. Cross, Jada Kiss, this one, that one, as T.L. Cross in the hip hop world and in the R&B world. They're doing feature backgrounds or producing or what, what? Listen, man, if you go to a song called All Falls Down by Jada Kiss, that's Jada Kiss featuring T.L. Cross. And I'm in the video. I'm, I'm performing. I'm singing. You know, I'm doing what I'm doing. Shout out to DJ Absolute um, who produced that. You know, so yeah, in every capacity, I was working with artists from R and B to hip hop as a a writer, as a singer, as a musician, and as a producer, whatever needed. But then, if you 
But TL Cross, what happens to Morrison Slick? Are they not still? Are, are you doing your hands dip in both pounds and or it the the kind of camera shifted to TL Cross, and then when you looked at TL Cross, you see Bezo right here with me singing. He's from Morrison Slick. Darren had moved down to Atlanta, so he wasn't there. But it was more like if something happens with me. Darren's right on board. Darren's like, all right, you know, what do you need me to do? So we were still like a unit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but the focus became more so on me as an out front artist. Uh, and we kind of, you know, followed wherever that took us, you know? One of my uh, good friends, Stevie, who I do a podcast with said you had, um, you did recorded a solo album, but never got released but in a way got leaked, but to, uh, and some people probably listened to it. <laughs> what, what, what was the process with Lee? <laughs> yeah, though so he's right. He's kind of right. Um, what happened was over a period of time, I was recording, producing, writing, and recording a lot of songs, all right? Mm. And the, this is the leak that, I, that, he, that he's talking about. One of the labels got hacked and i want to say one of the labels got hacked in a particular year and got their hands on a bunch of those songs that was in people's uh email that we were submitting and it was me it was my songs my voices and stuff my, my voice and stuff like that that got released and it's looked at as like oh this was a release from these songs were released but i've never released them those were ideas and you know things that were being worked out and stuff okay it is way okay. online now there was an ep that i released a few years after that world so the world soul ep mm -hmm. the world ep and shout out to my uh production partner needles who had just done uh let me see just the way you are by bruno mars you know, he was in my band when we was going around doing the TL Cross stuff. He was the DJ and he was doing production. Brian's doing production. He's singing PLX from Get It On Tonight as well. He's on guitar. He's doing some vocals as well. So we would like this unit, like this crew of friends who were producing and writing for everybody. We would get on the stage with me singing live and stuff like that. So uh, that led to a partnership between myself and Needles. And we ended up working on various artists, namely Nicole Bush, you know, in 2018, 2019, which she had a number one hit, you know, song with you, the song you. And, uh, you know, the moderate hit with the song called Mr. Big Shot and another one called Rain, uh, you know, with Def, uh, let me see, uh, not Def Jam, uh, Rock Nation. Okay. Rock Nation. She was a Rock Nation. So yeah, man. I you know I I, I constantly continue writing, producing, and having releases, man, and having some success. You know. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of Halftime Chat. Please remember to subscribe, share, and comment. But most importantly, why don't you become a member of Halftime Chat? We've got amazing videos, amazing perks, and um, being able to support the channel. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. I never participated in that.